Hi everyone, my name's Stuart Thicket from the University of Tasmania. In this short video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about polymers. Now, polymers are everywhere. These gigantic molecules that make up so many aspects of our lives. They're in our muscles, they're in the protein that makes up our bodies, they're in our DNA that makes who we are. But synthetic polymers are all around us as well, from the humble plastic bag, plastic drink bottles, synthetic tires, paints, surface coatings, you name it, polymers are everywhere. But how do we make these gigantic molecules in the lab? That's what we're going to look at today in a short video about a technique known as emulsion polymerization. So we're about to begin our emulsion polymerization reaction now, and so I'd like to point out a few of our reactants that we're going to use. Firstly, we're going to use an oil bath that's already set to 90 degrees. We're going to begin our reaction at an elevated temperature. We've got our monomer, which in this case is styrene. That's the thing that we're going to use to make our polymer. We've got an initiator. The initiator is a commercially available material known as potassium persulfate. It's a salt that decomposes into free radicals that can initiate the polymerization. And we also have a surfactant, sodium dodecyl sulfate, which is like a soap. It helps emulsify two immiscible liquids such as styrene and water. So we're about to begin our reaction now and I've immersed our starting solution in our oil bath which is set to 90 degrees to allow it to heat up and what I'm now going to do is inject our initiator using this syringe and needle through the rubber septum at the top of the flask. So we'll just put that in there safely and inject our initiator. Our initiator is already dissolved in a bit of water pull that out and away we go. So rather than just making individual polymer chains that are floating around in solution, what we've done in an emulsion polymerization is make what is known as a polymer colloid. We have nanoparticles of polymer floating around in water, stabilized by our surfactant. Now these particles are very small. We need to use a very powerful microscope known as an electron microscope to actually see them. And typically they are anywhere from 100 through to 1000 nanometers in size much smaller than the width of a human hair. So we've reached the end of our emulsion polymerization reaction now, and what you can see is that our final product kind of looks like milk. It's a very uh, easy to flow white liquid that uh, has the viscosity uh, of water. And uh, what we've made is a dispersion of polymer nanoparticles, polystyrene, dispersed in that water, stabilized by our surfactant, our soap. And what you can see over on the right is what's happened. Our monomer, our styrene, our starting material, has been transformed into polystyrene, which is a dry, uh, brittle, solid white powder. The benefits of making polymers in a nanoparticle dispersion are to improve their reaction handling, as well as to increase the polymerization rate and overall molecular weight of the polymer formed. And so that's it. We've made our emulsion polymerization. We've got our nanoparticles dispersed in water here in our uh, round bottom flask. And so that brings us to the end of our video. Thanks very much for your attention and I hope you've learned something about the polymerization industry and the way in which we make these important materials.